Hey friends, this is Crystal. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm sharing some video footage and photos from last weekend, which was the Highway 46 yard sale. This is a three day event that um, happens once a year and I was able to go on Thursday and Friday, but I couldn't go back Saturday. But anyway, this is going to kind of be like a vlog style. It's going to have both video footage and photos. I found lots of good junk lots of good sightseeing that I thought would make for some interesting footage so hopefully you'll enjoy the fun too. Oh we're going down a dirt road friends. <laughs> this is probably going to be a good one. Gotta love these. They're off-road and it looks like it's an old farmhouse maybe. Oh this is the highway 46 yard sale. It runs from Heflin, Alabama, all the way up to the Georgia line. I don't know what happened. I am so sorry. I looked down and my camera had quit. But this is at that yard sale. And I am so sorry. My finger keeps getting in the way. But I thought these were cute. Handmade log beds for like a toddler. But I was more interested in this windmill. <laughs> I'm a country girl, so I love to sit out on the porch and listen to things like this and water features and crickets at night, but it was windy and this thing was just getting it. But it was music to my ears or music to my soul. But this was the second or third stop I made and he had a lot of good stuff. There were a lot of old men hanging out at this one, which was hilarious. They were all like old women standing around gossiping. I like to have never got anybody to come over and help me because they didn't want to break away from their conversation. <laughs> but I love this old chippy green table. He quoted me 65 and I was going to get it, but then I was like, no, I have a lot more stops to make. And what if I find something else? Then I'm not going to have the room. So I am kicking my butt now. I love this old shelf. He wanted 40 for it. I thought that would be cute on my desk. But he had some old Crocs and old frames old sewing machines and old galvanized buckets a lot, of, a lot of good stuff here and i loved this piano stool he quoted me 60 for it and he said tell you what if you get the table the stool and the shelf i'll let you have all three for 125 which i thought was a great deal but i didn't want to fill my suv up and then not have any room somewhere else and i thought this was a neat old building i don't know if that was a store you never know when you're out in the country like this. I don't know if it was a, a shed or what, but over here on this side, he had a bunch of um, old antique furniture. And if I still painted furniture, I would have been in heaven because they were good prices. But I just don't have time to paint stuff like this anymore. I have to kind of stick to the smaller stuff. But this was my favorite stop. This was obviously an antique dealer. They knew what they had and the items were priced accordingly. I mean, they had all kinds of cast iron and Pyrex, Corningware, Hazel Atlas. They had Ironstone, McCoy, Jadeite. I could have gotten some serious trouble here, but these were definitely retail prices. And I love the uh, crazy on that bowl. So pretty. I was loving this yard sale. And I don't know what I was filming right there. I'm so sorry. Just kind of random. But over on this side of the yard, he had a bunch of old tools. And then they had all these reproduction planters, which came from a company called Midway. Midway Sales. They're right down the road. They're located in Heflin, Alabama. If you guys need okay. a wholesaler that sells things like that, I'll put the link okay, in the description below. They also ship. And then he had tons and tons of brass. And I couldn't help but think about Julie from Julie's Designs and Signs. She loves the patina on brass. And these ducks, oh my goodness, they had a beautiful patina. But they were a bit pricey. They were $20 for the large ones. And if you're going to resell them, you know, that would have been a bit much to pay. But I guess it was a decent price if you were going to keep them. But I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just like speedy and spinning. And I'm making myself dizzy. So thank you for being patient with me. 
This next stop I discovered totally by accident. At first I spotted the truck and I was like, oh, I gotta stop and get a picture of that. But then I saw the sign that said fresh desserts and I see all these cars parked here. So I'm like, oh, there's a restaurant that's opened up on top of the hill. So I parked and I start walking up the hill and the owner comes over and introduces himself. And he was like, I'll escort you up there. He said, this is my home. I open it up once a year. I have vendors up here. Um, they had hot dogs, hamburgers, cake, fudge and this pavilion on top of the hill oh my goodness it had a view to die for look at this view so pretty and that's his home and there was a band playing on the deck there wasn't a lot of people up there when i got there but i just thought this pavilion was so pretty the pavilion has a bedroom and a bathroom now that wasn't open to the public but you could sit out here in the open area and eat and listen to the band, which I thought was really nice of him to open his home up and do this. I mean, sure, yeah, he's making money, but who cares? It was a welcome break because this is out in the middle of nowhere and I needed to get out and stretch my legs and take a little break. I needed something to drink and a snack. So I was happy to have found this place. And his name was Bob, but I can't remember his last name. I was talking to some locals and they said he does this once a year and everybody in the community knows him. I thought that was cute. And then I walked across the street. They had a lot of good stuff across the street. Of course, I love goats, so I had to go over and try to talk to these guys, but they were having lunch and they weren't having it. <laughs> they were ignoring me. But these guys were for sale. I guess they were trying to find them a good home. And then I found this big basket of silverware. I had no idea how many pieces were in there. There was over a hundred pieces of perfectly tarnished silverware. And I asked him how much he wanted. And he was like, oh, make me an offer. So I said, five bucks. And he was like, sure. So he was happy and I was definitely happy. And then this one had a lot of good stuff. I found some cute stuff for my mom, which I forgot to share at the end. But I found a really pretty ceramic Greyhound planter that was made in Japan. I'll have to show that one at the end. And then I had to stop at Tasty Dip for lunch. This place has been in business since 1947 or 1948. I can't remember, but you know, <laughs> every little town has one of these little dairy places, little burger joints. But I love the ice cream here. Their food's decent, but um, the ice cream's what I always stop for. It's so good. And it's right down the road from Heflin Vendors Mall, so if you're ever in the area, you can stop at a couple of different shops, and then you can stop at Tasty Dip. And they had the area screened in now. It used to be all open, so if you would sit out there, you would get tormented by those dang yellow jackets. So I was glad to see that was screened in now. But I'll put all the links for Heflin Vendors Mall and Tasty Dip and anything I mention in the description. And I passed this old homestead. I thought that was interesting. So I had to turn around and go back and film it for you guys. And there goes my dang finger again. I'm so sorry. I love seeing stuff like this in other YouTubers' videos. So let us know in the comments. Do you like random footage like this? We'll try to include more in the future if you guys like this kind of stuff. And then this is my haul. This is it. <laughs> I'm almost embarrassed to share it with you guys because it doesn't look like a lot, and it really wasn't. Some of it I forgot to film, but um, anyway, I got I got some good stuff, but I should have got the big table and all that other stuff, but I got these Miss Me jeans for $5 each, but I got to lose about 10 pounds before my big butt's going to fit in those, and I got this big bag of spools. Those were 5 bucks. the copper tea kettle. I found these old buttons. I mean, they're not really old, but I love to collect old buttons. And then I thought these napkin rings were pretty. And most of this I'm going to sell anyway. And this rusted old doorstop. This cloche. And then the silverware. I'm not going to eat with this. I'm just using it for crafts and to stage with. And I thought this pretty tin lid would be um, cute at Christmas. And then the brass candlesticks. I found some old books.
And there's the ceramic planter. Only paid a dollar for it. And then I thought this was cute. I know it's a Hobby Lobby item, but I only paid $2 for it. And I'm gonna paint it and put it out on my back deck. And I found those old shutters in the background. Those were $10. Found the cute broom at um, Picket Fence Prims, which um, is located in Heflin Vendors Mall. So shout out to my girls. Hey, Vicki, hey, Miranda. I've done a video on their booth before and I'll link it in the, in the description below. Good Lord, sometimes I cannot get my thoughts out. And this pumpkin blow mold. I, got, I cannot believe I'm getting so excited. I can't even talk. I cannot believe how much I paid for it. It was only a dollar. I thought she was going to quote back some high price. And I was like, how much for the blow mold? She said a dollar. Like she was questioning that might be too much. And I was like, oh yes, definitely. I want it. It was very faded, but still. And then I found that Hobby Lobby shelf in the background, which was really rickety. I'm going to take it apart and use the back. But here is the planter. This eBay seller has it listed at 100 Now, I don't know that they're going to get that for it, but it'll be interesting to see what this sells for. So we um, always try to feature a booth or a store in our videos, and we've been a little bit slack lately. But today, I'm happy to say we're going to feature a pop-up booth, which I don't get to feature m many of those. Um, she had liked one of our Instagram photos, and I clicked on her Instagram link, and that's how I found her. But um, it's called The Vintage She Shed, and like I said, she don't have a booth right now, but she is getting ready to open a store, so be sure to follow her. She had some beautiful things and had it displayed really pretty. I know you guys are always looking for inspiration for these pop-up shops. So I wanted to share her space. But the rest of the video is just going to feature her photos and then um, some yard sale photos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let us know in the comments. We'll try to do more. And I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.